I'm recording a small video today to demonstrate my go auto mag. My favorite gun. It's not specifically because of Dirty Harry, I just found the gun, and I, I found its design to be quite intriguing. Of course, it's not a direct replica. It's supposed to be like a modified one with no trigger guard and uh, the rails just meant to be these studs. And I took a little bit of Lego engineering and applied it so that way I take rubber band, I, t I, t I guess I'll go rubber band and put it in there. Cause it to just, just go right forward again if I can. Yeah, see, it doesn't always work. And I made two of these. Just fake magazines with similar to how my different username does it. Just, just simple little things. The fastest I can do with a loaded in magazine, let's say I just have it like pre set up. About fast as I can do, I can do faster. But I'm not going to do anything fast. I just wanted to show this little thing I made. I've had it for a while. Not really much modifications, except for like unrealistic ones, like this little attachable scope. It's not even a scope, it's a sight. It's like a, similar to like a micro T1. Like where, like the hypothetical thing is you would have like a red dot or something, or like a reflex. Not meant to be, of course, realistic in any way. And uh, I made a revolver with a very unrealistic... Well, you look, I mean, I could, there, I do have the, the reassembly bit, so that way I could reassemble this. I will pause the footage. I just want to go over the automatic first. It's a nice little gun. Helps really well. With, like, for, like, prop guns. These are meant to be prop guns. I do eventually plan on actually getting a airsoft revolver as a prop gun. Like, one of the ones with, like... It's one of those cheapo ones with, like, the little shells that you load in, and, like, like, the cheap ones, like, where the, um, BBs can easily slide out of them. It's just for a prop, anyways, so I'm not really gonna, well, like, it's just that way I actually have, like, something more realistic than that, and then it locks, and then I gotta find the little piece that locks it. I'll pause the footage, grab the pieces, and, uh, I'll be right back. Different angle, because the camera fell over. So... A very inefficient system, cause uh, one wrong move, the entire thing's falling off. But your basic principle is go like that. The thing should should pop out, and in the event that it doesn't pop out, you just simply take it out, take out your little spare piece, put it in there, and then simply close it. The other mag one is simply sim simple to explain, but of course, as we all know, not a lot of revolvers come with. Like, you know, an entire thing gets to simply dump out and then replace. Usually when a speed loader is, you know, used, it's, it goes away. <laughs> Not a lot of speed loaders, you know, are loaded directly into the revolver itself, because, you know, it wouldn't fit. But, alright, we're going to do a demonstration of how fast I could do it without breaking it. Alright. Hypothetical reload. Just say you have one in your hand. And there you go, that's about as fast as I can do it with, 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 with the, uh, without having to load each individual shell. I'm not gonna, I will do eventually an experiment, um, seeing how fast I can do it. And now I shall show you the three parts or the extra parts you got. This is where you put the shells. I don't, well, the, 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 the bullets, the fake ones. I'm just gonna call them pellets from now. <laughs> Pellets. There you go. That's a good name. That's a good name. Oh, this is the first video I made in a bit with my face in it. I decided to show not show my face in the Gary Smart videos because, not really because of personal reasons, just because I I like the fact that I can be in a digital world, like portray myself in that world, similar to like animation, like like storytell storytelling animation, like where the character can literally do whatever he wants. So it's better that, like, I can portray myself in Gary's Wand without having to go into, like, Source Filmmaker or something like that and animating every single individual frame or, like, Blender or something like that. That's going to take some time, you know? And the only time I... The only reason why I spent so much time 
off my YouTube channel is because, uh, for one, I'm a lazy. I'm a very lazy, lazy person. And I'm, and I'm trying to work on it. It's probably because of the weight I carry. I think that's one of my main reasons. The fact that I am overweight. It's not too much, not really too much overweight, but a good amount of overweight gets to be classified as overweight, not medi like morbidly obese. Just more like slightly overweight. Like if you look at me in person, like, like, like right now, you see I do have a stomach. I could care less, really. And, um, coming up later in the colder seasons, I will post a video. It'll be a question video. And, uh, you just have to wait till then. I'm not gonna post it anytime soon, as for the video to be used, it's gonna require a bunch of heavyweight clothing that, you know, you don't wanna wear in near 90 degree weather. <laughs> All right, so now that I have this thing assembled, six minutes out of 22 minutes, 58 out of, you know, total time I could record this thing, but, um, ignore the background noise. So you have the shells. Oh, God. Can't stop, like, having hiccups. It's like a hic um, I don't know if anyone else gets this feeling, but if you ever get, like, a feeling like, like, where it's, like, similar to a hiccup, but, like... Like, it's not like an actual hiccup, but it's, it's like the motion of it, and no sound is made, it's just like, like it just happens internally. I don't know what it's called, and, yeah. But besides that, this is the most efficient way i found it, so that way it doesn't block my thumb when I go to release it. Yeah. Alright, so, as fast as I can reload it, I put the trigger up, the trigger somehow... Of course, unrealistic, unrealistically slides up so that way I can hold it like this. This is about how, how fast I can reload it on a good day. <laughs> and of course, that does just get slower. It's really, you know, a randomized time. It depends on your skill and how used you are to loading things this small. And the only reason why I put this thing in here is because I, I can never load it with all the individual bullets within my hand will just fly all over the place and yeah but yeah the, the concept is very simple you just load shells in it's a it's a lot easier to do it with, with this with this little hollowed bit facing the inward position and this piece being the part where you insert them instead of this piece because this way it's hard to remove them you gotta really it just takes a little bit a lot a little bit more time than if it was like this and again of course that's extremely unrealistic because if i were to close it after loading it real quickly here this is the better way to do it just have your right hand do the loading other than your left hand if you, well it really does depend on you know i mean i am ambidextrous in certain things i just can't write ambidextrous I'm not ambidextrous when it comes to writing. I don't know what I can call it. Just, I'm a right-handed writer. But I can use my left hand for other things. Basically it. Alright, so back to... See, that's unrealistic, that is. The revolver has the, the shells... The, 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 I'm looking at the screen. That's why I'm looking out to the side. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the screen. And paying attention to how much time I've left in my recording. So yeah, how this works... It's quite unrealistic because no revolver has the shells in a loadout like this. Like who wants that? All the fires just gonna <laughs> go out the back range of someone's face. That's why I find it better to have it like where where, where it's like this, and then like this is like the speed loader bit because it seems a little bit more realistic. The only unrealistic bit about that bit is probably that the speed loader bit is still connected to the ammunition. Also, it folds up like this. For, like, concealed carry. I don't know. Just, like, so that way you, like, have, like, a, like disguise as a radio box and then, oh, which revolver now. <laughs> that system works. If you want to be, like, quick, it's better to have it like this. So I'm going to quickly put it back to the way it was before. A slightly more unrealistic way. 
you you would never be able to load it by hand, by like this like if you're like rope like if you're actually you know trying to reload it like like realistically because you know you're gonna have them pile out of your hand because you know they're too tiny. However, when when you're calm and paying attention, not trying to do it as fast as you possibly can, uh, it's a lot easier. So that's that. It's just most of the revolver bits is gonna be me taking apart the revolver and then reassembling it. There you go. This is the more efficient way if you want to have it like this and just immediately have it pop out. So that way you have the ammo, you load it in, and then you flip it back around and up like that, and then you close it. And there you go. It's it's like it's almost like having a magazine for your revolver. That's basically what the speed loader, what the speed loader would do. It just creates a magazine that you load up your revolver with. Except, since yeah, it's quite unrealistic. These, this one, the automatic one seems more realistic because you could probably do something like this where you just remove the trigger guard. I don't know. I just made it as small as possible the handle. That's why I have no trigger guard. Because I made the handle as small as possible in. Within a day. I made this thing. I found all the pieces I could and just did it within a day. But I mean, it does good. My favorite bit is the fact that I was actually able to get rubber bands and do that. Make it a little more realistic. And now I'm just going to quickly discuss a couple of things. So. I don't know why I just decided to make this right now it is nearly 1 a.m. so I'm gonna probably go to bed immediately after this video just so I can actually get some sleep for 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 once I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately because uh again I'm a lazy I'm lazy one and I uh, like staying up all night finishing up one time one tiny little task it could be anything from trying to finish like a like something in Gary's mod like when I'm building something or just finishing up something then it'll like turn to like a <laughs> an all night process or just mostly it'll just extend out to the early morning then I'll try to get some sleep then I'll wake up like probably like around <laughs> 3 8, 3 p.m. of course any old youtuber is like hey that's normal but Nah, I don't like waking up at, at late times in the afternoon. So I'm just making this quick video. I don't know. This is more of just, um, again, one of my very random videos. I make I like to make a lot of random videos. This is an example of that. Hmm. Well, I have not, nothing really else I want to talk about. Other than, you know, this. Demonstration of these two Lego weapons I've had for a bit. This one I actually just built, um, probably like five days ago, and I've improved them. And that's the only improvement. First, it was just this, and then you load the shells into this side, and then later I got the idea to flip it around and have them loaded. But then the final uh, thing was just simply t removing a couple of pieces and putting all the pieces in this thing, so that way you get yourself the full thing. It was always from the start a break action revolver. There used to be a red piece here, but I removed it due to the fact they would fall off constantly. And uh, this wasn't originally part of the equation. Actually, never mind, it was. When I first built it, I guess loaded everything by hand. But then I had the bright idea of putting this on. So I acts as a spare parts holder for when I, you know, want to have it like this. Yeah. There's not really much in this video, besides me disassembling a Lego revolver and uh, showing off another Lego gun. Not really much else. Again, they're just props. They don't. They can't actually fire anything. Unless, of course, you were to get you know, like a little bit crafty and have like a rubber band launcher. But, nah. Well, I guess that's really all I wanted to say.
I am quite tired now, and I'm going to get some sleep. Also, my disappointment isn't measurable, and my day is ruined. Okay, now, that's... As much as it's a good name, my day isn't ruined. I, I am not disappointed in any way right now. Uh, but I... And I have nothing really to discuss. I was actually hoping to discuss probably other things I'm going to do in the, in the in the upcoming month. I really have nothing I want to talk about right now. Other than the fact that later this later in the colder months I will be uh, putting out a question video. That's something in my teeth. I I had corn or for dinner. All that corn is being stuck in my teeth. It's uh, corn on the cob. Some good stuff. Besides, f talking about this tiny bit of food, guns that I'm looking at right now, and my screen. I have nothing else to talk about. I was. That was really the only thing I had planned. This was just like a random thought I wanted to do, just show off a couple of things I built. I'm I'm leaning heavily forward right now. It's not it's not to convey feeling. It's just I'm really tired. Yeah, I like I like the the. Oh. I really have nothing else I want to talk about right now. Eh. Hmm. Uh, this is awkward silence. I'm gonna end the video here, and uh. Leave you all off on your own. Don't, 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 uh, trash the, the waiting room on your way out, please. Okay, now that's, that's a joke. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video.